Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome to my channel everyone to your weekly reading. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, or to the cross what you're dealing with an Earth sign. This is going to be for you. We'll see what's coming up for the week ahead. So before I begin, um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would be lovely. And if you did want to become a channel member, you will get access to extended readings and member only content. Otherwise, if anyone was after a personal tarot reading, please get in touch with me. I am currently accepting those. Um, otherwise, let's jump into this and have a look what's coming up here for you, uh, Earth Signs, in the week ahead. Okay, got it. Zoom in a little bit on this camera. There we go. Okay, strong Pisces coming through here around you this week. Something new is blossoming here. I feel like you're meeting someone who's going to end up being very important. I feel like they're going to be a part of some journey here for you with the Six of Cups. Now, it could be someone from your past um, and it's now turning romantic. I really get a, someone like that was sort of like that you saw as a friend or someone you've known for a long time. It's like you have a history, but I don't think it's an emotional history. Like, I don't think it's a romantic history, but I get that there's always been feelings for each other. And I feel like this is gonna pop back up and opportunities like this is gonna pop back up here, um, Earth Signs. Okay. There is someone here who wants to take you with them, either on a trip of some kind or to relocate. I feel like you've got a big proposal in the works here, but I feel like it's not going to be easy for you to just uproot your life at signs. Okay, two of wands is coming up, so it keeps... We've got uh, Scorpio that's come through with the death card. So I feel like there may be an ultimatum. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting a distance thing. Someone has to move. They've got to relocate. They want to take you with them. I'm not so sure you're going to be sold on the idea of the signs. I feel like there is an important discussion about this, like the logistics. How would the relationship work? Are we going to be long distance? Are we seeing other people? I feel like there's just some logistics that you'll have to work out this week. And I sense that it's because, yeah, of what this person is bringing to the table here. I feel like it could be an online connection that's coming through or you're going to hear from this person. So... There may have been romantic feelings, but you never really got the chance to get things going. I feel like there's going to be some communication between you and them. Um, and I feel like they may even offer to visit you or have you visit them. Um, strong water energy around you, actually. We've got Pisces, Cancer with the Moon and Scorpio. Um, okay, there might be an ending in the works here. I feel like Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. Some of you are resisting this ending or are resisting a breakup or a parting of ways. Um, I feel like the universe wants you to know to take things as they come. Life is ever flowing and things change. Things can get better. Things can get worse. Things get better again. It's just the flow of life. It can't always be everything's perfect, everything's sorted. And then, you know, everything's like really bad and you're really low. Obviously, that's going to change. Life comes in cycles. So I feel like I want you to remember that whatever it is you're going through, it's going to be cyclical. Um, okay, I also feel like a secret maybe that you've kept or something that's very near and dear to you, Earth Signs. I feel like that's going to come to the surface here. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are going to know about this. So you could be in an energy where you feel like you need to share things about your personal life be careful because I feel like I'm seeing a lot of other people knowing your business knowing your stuff and unless that you've told them directly you know make sure it's someone that you fully trust with your personal intimate secrets before you go ahead and do that because there may be someone here who doesn't who doesn't have the best um who doesn't have the best intentions for you I feel like seven of Wards, seven of sword swords <laughs> So I really need to slow down. Seven of Swords. I feel like someone's words are being twisted. Okay, maybe with an air sign. Um, this gives me a Gemini quality. Um, now, Geminis, I feel like there's an animosity towards Gemini at times because they're like, it's the split personality person. And that's not necessarily the case. 
um, you know, as a Gemini, we just have so many different moods, not personalities, moods. Um, and I feel like people can misconstrue that. So, I mean, it could be that s someone is showing you not everything. Okay, they could only be showing you one side of themselves, Earth signs. So I feel like it could be an Earth sign, could be Gemini. I feel like it could be gossip. Um, someone could be gossiping about your relationship, or I feel like people are coming to you with information that isn't accurate, or it's coming from a third party, or it's coming from someone who maybe wasn't in the best mood that day towards you, you know, um, type thing. I don't know. I feel like there's some miscommunication that's going to come up here could be around this long distance lover or this long distance connection i feel like there's someone foreign here but i feel like they want to promise you a future i feel like ten of chalices you could be very happy with this person but i feel like the little little bits and bolts are getting in the way and i don't want you to be distracted by them too much because i want you to remember to look over the grand scheme of things um and there's a real strong emotional attachment here i'm actually getting like a past life vibe and just look at that. You, you literally have all the water signs that have come up in your reading. Come on, that's got to count, account for something, right? I feel like it's an emotional connection. There's emotional depth. Um, but I also feel like someone's getting more attached than they're actually letting on. And I feel like it's that deeper side, especially if you're dealing with Scorpio. And it's not like they're showing you how much they're falling. They're not verbalizing that. They're probably not even showing you through actions, but... Sometimes that energy is just, it's undeniable, as uh, Earth signs. You can't deny it. And like sometimes it's just a feeling. It's just a certainty. And if you feel that, go with it. The moon is here. So I feel like subtle signs from your intuition is going to be coming up here around you. Um, but yeah, I like what I see because I feel like I'm getting past life vibes. The Page of Cups, I feel like there's some sort of fantasy I don't know. I feel like someone's got a fantasy about how they see their relationship going, but then the other one's like too concerned with, okay, well, how are we going to do this? How is this going to work? How are we going to plan that out? I mean, one of you is like head in the clouds, but the other one is like pen to paper, cross the T's and dot the I's. And I don't know, Earth signs, I feel like it's you that's the one sitting there like, how are we going to do this? How's this going to work? What do we do this? Like, I know you want to map everything out, but sometimes you have to go with the flow. But then again, if this person's just coming up with like artsy fartsy little fantasies and it's just completely stupid, <laughs> like it's just like completely unrealistic and it can't happen, um, you know, yeah, okay, you're going to have to, you know, wake them up a bit out of la la land if they're doing that. But obviously if there's something that they're planning and it's coming from a sweet and genuine place, hear them out, earth signs, you know, don't knock it till you try it. See if you can work through it, but don't be too regimented with things because it's going to take away from the magic and you don't want that to happen because magic is around you this week. I'm going to leave it there though. So thank you everyone for watching. It means so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you on my channel very soon, hopefully. So take care and bye for now.